please, Nicola Spencer, tonight. Tonight we've got Moon OS 4. Neek. Neek. Based on Ubuntu 10.10. So it's usual Ubuntu stuff, really. I preferred it when it was in alignment, to be really honest with you. But I thought I'd go through it with you and see how we go. Ducky at the bottom. I mean, it's quite okay. Ducky, don't mind Ducky. It's all right. It's a bit Ducky-ish. Open Office as your office suite. Would have preferred LibreOffice in there, but maybe it wasn't available when they actually made it. You get lots of other stuff there too, but we'll come back to a lot of that in a bit. So, a bit green at the moment. So, we go to Applications. It's quite limited, and it's quite a large download, really. But you get the usual stuff there, the usual suspects, as we say. Gimpy's there, and all stuff like that. Office, as I said, Open Office is already there. Sound and video, Banshee, Brazero, Cheese, Movie, and Sound Record. Ah. Yeah, usual, really. I was expecting a little bit more out of this one. But I wasn't going to get it, was I? Because it was GNOME-based. <clears throat> Excuse me. Not that I don't like GNOME. Don't get me wrong. But Moon was E17 before, or Enlightenment desktop, and it was a bit different. So anyway, we're going to change the desktop background and show you how to do it first. It's simple, as you would know if you use Ubuntu. You just click on it. I'll click on that one, but I'm going to use that one instead. Close it. It's quite resource-hungry, I've found. <clears throat> Excuse me. I must have enough gold coming. Resource-hungry, anyway. But it's all right. It works okay. Now this would be a superb beginner OS because it's quite easily laid out. Now if we go to places, I'm going to go down a bit, and it's all the usual there as you would expect. Nothing new, nothing simple, nothing too difficult. And there's that stuff. Now it's simplified the file system. It hasn't actually changed it too much, it's just simplified it, shall we say. So a bit of file system and that's all you get. Now if you're a beginner, that's ideal, isn't it? Super duper, bleeding duper. But if you're used to other stuff, you want a bit more sometimes, don't you? Or do you? I don't know what you really want out of Linux. It all depends what sort of user you really are, don't you think? Well, that's my opinion anyway. Whether you like it or not, that is it. So yeah, so it's Firefox as your standard browser. So I'll open it up, and it does a little bouncy thing. We'll make it bigger for you. Oh. Nice home page, really super duper, love it, nice bit, it tells you lots of bit, lots and lots and lots and lots of stuff that you'd like to know about Moon OS, Neek. but yeah, super cool, so yeah, information's there, isn't it? So if we go to download, unfortunately for us, only the known 32 bit is available, now I would have loved it if the Enlightenment was still here, and also apparently there's supposed to be a LXDE version as well coming soon so they say so I'm not going to put any, any eggs in one basket until I've seen these two to be really honest with you because I, I really like the, e, the E17 desktop and LXD as you know I do like LXD it's like LXD ish in it but yeah it makes stuff run quicker but yeah anyway so we go over to the tube let's make sure everything's all working hunky dory here because if you could, you're a newbie and you I won't call you a newbie, a new user we're going to call you. If you're a new user, you want Flash pre-installed. You don't want to be hacking around with stuff like that, do you, really? So I'll go over to one of my favourites, UKF Dumpstep Channel. Oh, yeah, back in time, oh, and future time. It's one of the latest ones. No sound, because I'm breaking the law. So I can just show you a little bit of graphic, give me a bit of oomph. Nice, works, lovely, super bleeding and duper. Now it's only running Firefox 3.6. So, you know, I prefer the a 4 series one personally, but I'm having a little trouble with Firefox 4 running some add ons that I normally use in Firefox. So, anyway, back down to the docky bar, you know, all runs really nice. It looks really, 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 really nice. Shotwell was there, so I'll open up Shotwell. If you've used Shotwell before, it's a file management system. That's what you get. You just add your pictures and do your stuff and little bits and bobs that you want to do. It's alright, you know, nothing special. But yeah, I would actually hide this personally myself, so I'm going to do that. So I'll go to Properties, I'm going to click that to Auto Hide, click the box, click Close, and that will now close for me. I'll get a nice cleaner desktop, and Docky actually looks better for it, in my personal opinion. Now, what do I want out of Moon OS? Well, I want Enlightenment back, please, really. I'm not really interested in the known one, because there's too many of them, to be really honest with you. We want something a bit different, don't we, you know, to show you. Otherwise, all the distros just merge into one. Not really good. Go to backgrounds again, and I'll just change another one, because I like that little fly thing. Yeah, the dragonfly. That's the baby. So we click on him. That's better. Super duper. We'll click close, and he'll be gone. He'll be gone, baby. Yeah, Moon OS. 
It's all right. Very good for a new user, but I'm not going to rate it at all at the moment until I've seen the other versions of LXDE and E17. That's my opinion. But it's okay. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, super. Sneaky Linux going out. See you later.